king and queens it is queen of queen she me and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys pretty much what i plan on doing for protective styling going into the fall and winter months when i was previously transitioning starting back in november 2014 transitioned for a total of six months and then after that i big chop six months later is when i got into protective styling because my hair was at a longer length it wasn't even this long like this is a year and five months of natural hair growth when the fall came last year 2015 that's when i found out about protective styling for your natural hair and protective styling is such a great alternative for protecting your hair when you do not feel like being bothered my first time with doing it protective styling i was learning on how to install all my box braids so the first time around they were okay but the second time around I did them in um, the early part of the spring I would say between February and April of this year is and they turn out a lot nicer um if you guys are interested in seeing those videos I'll link them throughout this video and I will list them down below in the description bar so this time going into the fall and winter of 2016 I plan on doing braids to start out with the hair that I'm gonna be using is not anything fancy. I hope you guys can see it. But this is from Altree. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's it's this brand here, Altree. And it's a jumbo braiding hair, and it is in the color 1B. So this is what I will be using again for my actual box braid. So before I actually go in with washing and conditioning the hair, as you guys can see, my hair is freshly twisted. This is from this morning. I washed my hair last night. I did my pre poo my hot oil treatment like I always do. You guys know I never skip that step. And then I went in with a co-wash which I will be using on the actual braiding hair um, and this is from the As I Am brand and it, it is their coconut co-wash and you guys know I freaking love this stuff I rave about it all the time um, I did do an overnight deep condition using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Deep Treatment Mask you got, and I get tongue tied every time I try to say the name, say the name of this deep conditioner I love this deep conditioner again it smells exactly like cookies like oh my god and so that's why my hair looks all bouncy today like my hair is like extra juicy so i'm probably gonna wear my hair like this all weekend so this will and i want the hairstyle to actually get old because i do not like to install braids on freshly washed hair i don't know it's just something about it the less manipulation possible the better i'm going to be deconditioning and co-washing the braiding hair before i actually put them in this time to co-wash with the as i am coconut co-wash for the hair and then i'm going to go in with the Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner, and this is from their Jojoba Manoy line. This is a brand new container, so I'm, I hope I don't run through this whole thing on all these bags of hair. But just really quickly, um, I have a couple of tips and tricks that I use personally for myself before I actually go in with the protective style. You want to wash your own natural hair. You do not want to braid your hair or twist your hair or however you plan on styling it for a protective style on old dirty hair. Like no, that's not gonna benefit you with doing a protective style. Oh, and then also too, like if you know you need to shampoo your hair and really give it a very good clarification before going in with a protective style, go ahead and do that. But just make sure that you really make sure that you decondition your hair after the fact because again, you're going to be installing your braids, your crochets, or whatever it is that you're going to be wearing for the next three to six weeks. Me, I protect the style no more than four weeks. The next tip is you want to make sure that your hair is trimmed. You do not want to wear a protective style and your hair has not been trimmed. While your hair is protected, it's pretty much not going to be protected because the damaged ends is going to be traveling up the hair shaft the whole time you have your hair tucked away in your protective style. So you want to make sure that you trim your ends and as you guys can see, I did trim my ends like not too long ago, like pretty recently. The next tip I have for you guys for protective styling is you have to still take care of your scalp. You can't just put braids or crochets in and not take care of your scalp, you guys. Like, come on. A healthy scalp promotes healthy hair growth. Like, literally. It really does. Make sure you get you some Jamaican black castor oil. That's what I will be using to moisturize my scalp while wearing my protective style. Um, You guys know that's just my favorite. I 
do a hot oil treatment with it and sometimes if i run out of my other essential oils for my um lock method or lco method then i will just go in lightly with the jamaican black castor oil the castor oil that i will be using is going to be the jamaican mango and lime um jamaican black castor oil and i believe this one is in the original formula yeah this one's in the original formula, but when I go in to protect the style, I will purchase the extra dark version because I really love that version of the Jamaican black castor oil for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like my hair really benefited from the extra dark version of the Jamaican black castor oil. If you're not a JBCO fan, no worries. Just pick up your favorite oil. You can use coconut, jojoba. You can use peppermint oil if you want because that's really good if you have itchy scalp. Um, and you have grapeseed oil. I mean, it's an endless <laughs> list of different oils that you can use to moisturize your scalp. And I stated, you know, before, you just want to make sure that your hair, you know, is freshly washed and cleansed. And it's the same thing with the braiding hair as well. You want to make sure that you wash it and actually deep condition it. And I didn't do that the last time. So this time, I'm going to do that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just really wanted to come to you guys with tips for protective styling because I'm getting ready to put in my protective the style probably within the next week and I'm pretty sure you guys are too if you're natural like me or even if you're transitioning you can also wear protective styles as well because that can help with your transitioning journey if you're just struggling with the two different textures install some braids put in some crochet honey even twist your hair up and throw on a wig I'm not a wig girl I don't like my head to be hot so <laughs> the braids is going to be enough for me okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video my king and queens if you did like always please give this video a thumbs up do not forget to hit that red button down below and subscribe and comment down below on what types of protective styling you guys are going to actually be doing and also to what other protective styles that I could possibly try out as well besides crochets and box braids okay thank you so much for watching my king and queens and I will see you guys in the next upload be blessed.